Hi, I'm Robert Vlasich, and I'm here to give you some quick tips to get started with your KST-1000 shot timer by Kestrel Ballistics. Your KST-1000 can be configured for up to three par times. To enable the first par time, click the enter button on first par time. Use the right or left buttons to select on. Press the gear button to return to the main menu and you will see a time. Use the left and right buttons to change the time. You can then add a second par time as desired and from there a third as well. It is important to know that you must enable them in numerical order. For example, you cannot enable the second par time if the first par time is disabled. The par time settings will not allow you to set them up out of order. This means that if you have 10, 20, and 30 seconds configured and then try to reduce the 30 second par time, it will automatically nudge the second par time lower. Likewise, if you try to raise an earlier part time past an upcoming part time, it will nudge these times higher. If you find that you are spending a lot of time configuring and changing part times, please check out our video on using presets to streamline setup for matches and drills. If you have any more questions, please visit KestrelBallistics.com for additional resources.